It's good for us to push for results that are up and to the right. We need to be concerned about ROI, P&L, and valuation. Mountaintops matter, but our responsibilities as faith-driven entrepreneurs go well beyond focusing our attention only on the financial well-being of our businesses. We're called to pursue real and meaningful relationships with people. And this includes the messy lives most of us experience inside and outside of regular eight to five. What does it look like for us to walk with the people we employ in the valleys? These are the moments when emotions run high and productivity understandably runs low. And yet, these are the moments that leave a lasting impression. These are the moments that can matter most. What can you do as a faith-driven entrepreneur to ensure that times of tragedy, loss, grief, and despair will be met with the love of Jesus, a love that is unconditional and non-judgmental, a love we know all too well. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no account of wrongs. Love takes no pleasure in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. 1 Corinthians 13, verses four through eight. Jackie worked as the fleet manager of Interstate Batteries for over 30 years. When he received life-altering news, he saw the culture of the company impact his life in a way that he never imagined. Let's watch. Well, at Interstate, I was uh, the fleet manager, buying and selling all the trucks, vans, vehicles across the United States for all of Interstate batteries, including independent distributors. Um, I dealt with some of the greatest people with the Interstate system. The distributors were absolutely awesome for 30-something years. I uh, pretty much could fix anything, so uh, electrician, plumber, you name it. So kind of a... Uh, no pun intended, a jack of all trades. Maybe master of none, but a jack of all trades. Well, uh, nothing in the interstate was typical for me. Uh, I think every company is bottom line driven. They should be, because that's important. Money's important. But usually those two, uh, the two things, bottom line money and actually caring and sympathy for the employees and providing what they provide for us usually don't go hand in hand. Probably two, two and a half years ago, um, I went to the doctor, thought I was dehydrated because I was having severe muscle spasms at night and uh, my legs were locking up and cramping. It looked like my legs were alive. The fascinations were just, you know, going everywhere. So I go and they tell you you're dehydrated. <clears throat> so I drink more fluid. And then one day my stomach acted like there was a baby in there. I mean, it was just going side to side and up and down the top. This ain't right. So went to a neurologist and went through a battery of tests. And when I started doing the test, he said, you need to prepare yourself because you got Lou Gehrig's. <clears throat> the government recognizes ALS is the only disease where you immediately go to full retirement. So I'm thinking, you know, I got some quality time left, so it was it was just kind of a no-brainer to leave. When I left the Interstate Batteries, what they what they did, I mean, they did every single thing that you possibly could do for somebody. For example, long-term disability. Financially, that really helped. Anything I needed, it was just a, a total effort of what do you need, how can we help you? This book is probably one of the neatest things that anybody could get um, and to read before you, before you go. It fits me perfect because I love to fish. When I am gone, my ashes are going to go in the minnow bucket, so this is this is pretty pretty uh, fitting. A good friend of mine, Charlie Brevin, Interstate Batteries, he gathers stories from the people that um, I intertwined with their life on doing something with my hands, mostly. There's over 50, 50 different stories that people have written, 
And as you notice, know, they're not just short stories either. They're nice, long, and I'm not going to read any of them because I'll cry again like I did in the first part of this video. But in the back, uh, it allowed me to write my life story. Oh, so, there I go again. That's another thing <clears throat> this company does that uh, the way they treat people and the way that they care about people goes right along with what I was saying before. They're bottom line driven, but they have compassion. That's compassion to, to do that for somebody. So I really never had any whammies, period. And that's the gospel truth. Um, but I think, I think it's important for people to know that <clears throat> God didn't make mistakes. It's given me a, um, a, a time to reflect on how <clears throat> grateful I am for um, all the things that God's given me. I, I feel blessed. I've been married for 35 years to a wonderful woman. I have two wonderful kids, four wonderful grandchildren. If I had a chance to speak to all my family and friends, I would say stop, just pause every day and thank God for what he's done in your life. The first line of 1 Corinthians 13.8 is such a direct and simple reminder for us all. Love never fails. Love never fails, period. Like in the story we just watched, there are times when our faith will be tested, whether we're the person going through something or the person who is trying to be of support. Questions will be asked, doubt will creep in, despair can overwhelm. What can you do to make sure you're offering peace rather than adding stress? How will you love well? How can you be attentive and available for someone? No agenda, no expectations, no pressure to have all the answers. Simply be there to listen and respond if appropriate. And how can you do it while also caring well for your business? Talk about this session in your group and how it relates to the journey you're on. Open yourselves up to learning from one another. Be transparent and honest with each other. What you get out of this time together will only be as enriching and life-giving as what you put into it. See you next time.